gosh, rumor cupcake twenty one here, and you know it's been a long time that uh, I make make a tutorial, which am I talking? You know because I have a mic that has good quality. I'm just using my laptop's mic, so this tutorial, I just tutorial, I make a tutorial. How do you burn music in CDs? And also, just so you know, guys, I'm recording my voice in my camera. Yeah, in my camera. I know. That's stupid. Stupid, stupid. Alright, let's get to the tutorial and stuff. So, basically, yeah, I saw a lot of new forums and stuff, blogs, blog, blogs. Uh, we can get along with it. What did I say? Alright, so. They don't know how to burn you know, music to your CDs. But first of all, things you need. I'm gonna tell ya the things that you need. First, an application called CD Burner. You can download CD, CD, Bur CD Burner XP on your on your on your on your on your on your computer, right? On your computer. Okay, also, you saw this clone thing. Uh, yeah, I'm making a that is a coming up video. I'm gonna be making a after effects okay, here and a cloning effect. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna clone myself or someone. Alright, blah, 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 what I'm talking about? I'm talking about you know, when I tree and sorry about the noise outside. There's a construction outside. Since, since since yeah, I don't need to do that. And yeah, so you just need to download, you know, Cine Brand XP. You can just search it up on Google. Cine, uh, C wait, sorry about that. CD Burner XP. And you can see that download. You can type that before into 7 and stuff. You can go search it up on Google or just click the download link on my. Oh, on the description below so first of all uh, what's that why did I say that so after you download Windows Burner XP then you need this right this where you're gonna put your songs and stuff so you're gonna need your music and kind of this so I'm gonna show it in my camera here right here see CD minus R CD minus R is also known as a good CD. CD and yeah, CD CD minus R. Uh, uh, that is that I use to bring music and stuff. And also some of the, some 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 CDs also called DVD minus R. DVD minus R is for movies. Right here, I have a preview right here. You can see a uh, preview right there, DVD minus R and stuff, and yeah, it does for movies and you know video files. And this one is CD minus R, which I use. You can use too, and there are different stuff like CD minus R, CD plus R, CD minus R plus R W raw. You can use those, yes, if you want. The only thing that is different with that is they are deletable. I I I think because this this is un unformatable. Yeah, you can format this, but the one thing is the 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 hard drive will not change. Their their drive, their storage is not not going to be changed. It's not gonna change. So keep that in mind. So alright, I will do that I'm going to yeah give my second one maybe. Super nice. Alright. So let's see. Alright, let's finish that. And I have my CD burner experience here and for music that I got from my old uh flash drive and so after you have your CD burner XP application, what you going to need is launch that up. Launch that up. Come on. Yeah, so here. 
So yeah, I read a lot of paws and logs and stuff. So yeah, so here's what I get. I just search it up on Google and where? First we start in the beginning. Here's what I do. I plug, I, I plug in, in my computer uh, a music disc. Then a cell format. Oh, do this. It says like that. Oh, do this. So what? Uh, what game I'm in my mind? You just search up application that burns. Oh, do this. So in order to burn music on your CD, is is yeah using CD burn XP. Yeah, of course. And but you also need the disc to be an audio disc. If you're going to bring music in. You're gonna click that up. And of course, I will try to love this, and I wasted wasted a lot of this, you know, because I'm trying things up. So the first thing I did is using the Windows Media Player to bring music, but and they work. And it works in computer and stuff. So you're gonna pick your music. I mean, yeah, I don't know how to shake my god. Uh, yeah. You're going to drag your music file. Oh my god, music file. So. Oh, what? Uh, I mean, I know your, your music and your songs. You're going to drag them in here. You can open up the folder that you have. And. Oh my god. Uh, you're going to have your mu music here. On uh, down here, I'm just gonna drag them down here, and you can see here how much space your disc can uh, uh, can store. And yeah, uh, and also you can you know rename them and and uh, you can, uh, yeah arrange the playing and stuff. Stop there. That's done. Just going to click burn. First, you can plug in your CD right here. You can plug it in. But I'm not gonna do it now because I'm just gonna see. So I don't need to burn all these files. So when you just click burn, uh, uh, you click add, add your songs and music, then burn. And you also can name them and arrange them in the order, in the in order that you want. And after you do that, then you're done. You're going to burn your CD. Voila. Uh, a CD that has uh, the place in every, 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 every stereo media, I think. Every. And also, I, buy my, uh, I bought this from Walmart. I don't know how much it is because I didn't buy it. My dad bought it because he needs CD. And yeah. So hopefully guys, this works on you, well of course it will work on you, and hopefully guys, this this helps out, yeah, helps, and thank you guys for watching, see you guys on my other videos, or on my next video, bye bye, uh, wait, give me a sec, I'm gonna end this one first.